everybody, welcome to another video. Today I'm here with my good friend Sam and Headless. Friends, I, I didn't say friends, I said friend, my bad. Um, so, there's uh, only one of us here, by the way. There's, 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 it's just me switching voices. Yeah, there's there's only two of us, it's just Headless is a master. Hello! Oh no, it's the other personality. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> It's like Killer7, but it's it's just two of us, so it's actually Nerd 2. It's super cream. Alright, anyways, um... Uh, Headless, I guess, introduce yourself. Uh, I... Um... I'm the... I'm the... We, um... We Northern Irish fucker that phones the 8-6. <laughs> Not because it's that we initial D car, because I genuinely like it. <laughs> All right, uh, Sam, you can introduce yourself now. Hello, my name is Sam. I'm just pretty much your regular, everyday, normal motherfucker who just happens to collect a lot of Hot Wheels cars and various other things that basically interest me, like Transformers, Megazords, Legos, among other things. Can I get a second take on that intro? Because his was way longer than mine. I don't give a shit, go. I'm joking, it's fine. Oh, okay. Alright, you guys can still see the F-150, right? Yeah, yeah, we can still see the okay. truck. I just made the screen bigger, so... Um, I'm just testing it to see if it looks okay. Anyway, um, yeah, so today's video we're going to be discussing each of the Hot Wheels... Uh, Highway 35 World Race cars, and we're going to basically come up with ideas on what other teams these cars could be on based on their looks, abilities, blah blah blah. It's just a discussion of like, you know, whatever. It's just, it's just something fun to do. Um, I got this idea recent. Well, I've always kind of had this idea on my mind, but I never really thought of it in depth. It was just kind of like a funny thought one day, like, oh hey, you know, it'd be kind of cool to see like. A car from World Race as a different car from a different team. And then I saw some people making some team swapped cars as customs, and I'm like, okay, well, now I need to kind of jump on this as a video idea. So, um, our buddy Eric was supposed to be here, but he said just to make the video without him. So, uh, you're, uh, you're here with us in spirit, Eric. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, so the first car, uh, and by the way, none of these cars are not in order. They're, they're all just going to load up by A, A, B, C order on this image thing I have loaded up. So it's not in order at all, which I think is going to be kind of interesting to, to kind of do because I kind of wanted it randomized anyway. Um, Although we do know the first two because uh, Deb is shit at setting stuff up. Yeah, I keep switching between the first two images just so that way they can see what the fuck's going on. But anyway, let's get into it. So, um... The F-150, it's on the Dune Rats. What fucking other team would this car be on? Uh, Sam, what are your thoughts? Mm, well, to really sort of be honest, I can't really think of any other team what... I can't really uh, think of whatever other team, team the Ford F-150 may be on besides Dune Rats, but... If I had to sort of really take a guess, I would probably maybe say the Road Beasts because they sort of are all about sort of like the forest off-roader, so yeah, I guess it would work in that sort of environment. Okay. What about you, Henry? I was going to say the Scorchers, if I'm honest. I mean, they're all about big, like, tough vehicles that can get through, like, a lot of shit. Like, a big pickup truck wouldn't look out of place. I mean, it kind of would, because they prefer their muscle cars, but, you know. A big truck that can drive through lava wouldn't be completely out of place. And not to mention, I think it looked pretty fucking sweet and red. Okay. Um. So, I know that this is supposed to be, like, a sports truck. So, obviously, it's, like, tuned for racing, and... As silly as it sounds, I, I think it kind of would work as like a street breed car. 
because I kind of see it as like a street truck, not so much like as an off-road vehicle. I don't know. I mean, I know it's a truck, but like, there are, there's like the, uh, it is, I don't know if it uses the F1 chassis, but there's like the Ford Thunderbolt, and it was supposed to be like a really fast sports truck. Um, that was like a really cool street sports truck or whatever. But I don't know, that's just my opinion. I think it would be kind of cool as a street route. Um, as well as Scorchers and Road Beasts, like, I definitely see it being those two, just on the off-road off aesthetic. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I think that kind of works either way, too, so. Anyway. Uh, anything else we want to say before we move on to the next car, or are we good? <clears throat> nah, that's how you move. Ooh. All right. We all know what the we all know what the next one is, anyways. <laughs> the XP87 vet. So I know that it says that it has like an airplane engine in this, and I always thought that it actually had a real airplane engine in the car. But since I was just researching this yesterday, um, because I felt really embarrassed because everybody was actually talking about this car in, in the chat on PS4. And they're like, does it really have an airplane engine in it? And I was just like, yes, yes, it does. It does have airplane engine in it. And then I'm like, okay, I need to actually double check this. <laughs> and it does it, and I feel fucking stupid. But I think the reason it has the airplane engine in it in World Race is because the car's design was, I think, inspired by airplanes, from what it says in the wiki. Um, I don't know. But I kind of wish it did have a real, like, airplane engine in it. Because it's possible. Combustion engines are all pretty much the same. You just have to change how it's set up to uh, wheels instead of the fucking airplane prop. <laughs> so, um, anyway. Um, okay, uh, do you guys want me to go first on this one? Or do you guys want to, who wants to go first on team swapping this one? Son of a bitch. Ah, you go first. Fuck it. Okay. Um. Oh, jeez. This one's a little tough. I'd have just to say. Just don't fucking pick what I'm gonna pick. <laughs> I don't know what you're gonna pick, but I'm just gonna say. Exactly. Don't fucking do it. Just don't <laughs> say anything. You're holding a gun to my head. <laughs> a gun to your head and a knife to your back. <laughs> you ain't going anywhere. Yeah, shit. Um, Alright, just shoot me if I get this wrong, but I'm gonna say Road Beast. Fuck's sake. That's what? exactly what I was gonna say. God right. damn it, now you have to kill me. I can see why yes. you would basically put it as. I could definitely see why. I mean, one, one, it's a, it's a, it's a classic Hot Wheels car, isn't it? It's a classic car in general, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, this was like, basically the basis for what the C2 would be. And, like, uh, the road base also had Twin Mill with their fucking driver, Pete Karras. I got a problem with this guy. Um, Look at his stupid fucking face. <laughs> his stupid Yeah, just like that hair. very smug face, like that. And, mmm, you think you could basically beat me on a drag, or... Sort of like that face that will basically, like, after losing, he'll try to basically get you into buying him some fried catfish or some other New Orleans food. Stupid fucking face, man. Um, so, uh, my other idea for this was going to be Scorchers. Just because I think the Lava Plow would look badass on this car. See, that's, that's why I wouldn't have picked, like, something like... Um, like the Dune Rats, because they're they're very much based in sort of like um, desert environments, and as such, all of their cars are like covered over. Yeah. If you get what I mean, like water, you can sort of like splash in your face, you know. Uh, road beasts, you know, they're kind of foresty, so they're kind of just like, oh, just get bugs in my car, fuck it. Well, yeah, I mean, bugs. Like moto bugs. motocross is open. Up, so I mean, I think yeah, this... but like, but like that car ain't got no fucking roof. That's what I mean. Like, um, 
Uh, so you get sand in it, you're just gonna get sand all over your face, and then you're gonna be covered in sand. Yeah. Anyway, alright, um, what do you think, uh, this car would be on, team-wise, Sam? Um, hmm. Well, uh, actually, unfortunately, I can't really give much on this one, because, unfortunately, I don't know. I think it just, I just honestly like how it looks, so... I can't really give an opinion on this one. Oh, okay. Besides, pretty much the blue, it really just goes well with that tan. It just, it works. I always thought it was like a gold color, like the beach, but yeah. Yeah, um, I mean, the Waikiki, it listed as like champagne gold, but gold, champagne gold, tan, beige, poof, makes no difference. Yeah, all right, moving on. Oh no. Oh my god, we actually got a new car now, what the fuck? I oh know, it's your boy. It's your boy's car. <laughs> uh, yes, the Jerkmobile. Yes. <laughs> more, like, more like the jerk off mobile. <laughs> uh, oh jeez. Oh boy, alright, who wants to go first? I mean... There's, there's not really a lot you can do with Slingshot, if I'm completely honest. It's either Street Beat or fuck off. It's too... It's too quick for Road Beasts. It's too, like, aerodynamic for Scorchers. And it's too low ground for Dune Rats. So, um... I don't think and it looks a little too it. futuristic for the Wave Rippers, because... I mean, it's got basically, like, a opening in the back, so pretty much water's gonna be getting into that engine bay. Then fuck it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw my hat in the ring and say, fuck it, it's the cliff agencies. <laughs> I'm, I'm Didn't gonna, think I'd throw that in the mix, I'm, now did you? I'm gonna say that it's, it's a road beast. It would be good as a road beast, and the only reason I say that is because you have the front end open up and a slingshot, like, catapult fucking crossbow comes out the front so like why wouldn't a saw blade come out the front of it you know it, it would work as a road beast car. i mean and it would look pretty badass in green i'm not gonna lie yeah actually there is a that, di that uh, is the color of ro that is the color of road beast isn't it I don't know yeah it, it's green it's green um, and then what the fuck's dune rats what co what's their color yeah, like yellow dune rats is more like gold yellow you're gonna put green and yellow beside each other. I'm fucked. There is actually. I cannot tell the difference between them. There, there, there is actually in. Uh, there is a, 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 a. God damn it! There's an actual slingshot. Speak, damn it! There's an actual slingshot that's like a greenish yellow, and it has like a tiger stripe looking pattern. It's pretty sick. Ah uh, yes. Ah yes, when Kurt decided to become a furry. Oh god. Alright, uh, Sam, uh, did you say- even... Did you say what you wanted yeah, to say about this already, or...? Uh, no, I didn't, but... Well, I mean, really, to be honest, like, uh... Like the Stingray, can't really think of anything else besides... I'd street breed, so... Unfortunately, I gotta pass up on this one, too. Alright, next one. <laughs> oh yeah, Nazi Germany. <laughs> oh, the vintage, the classic vintage itself, Red Baron. By the way, the car that was also made German in real life. Vehicle. It's it's World War One headless. I, 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 the World War One I, German I, infantryman I, helmet. I find fun fact. Oh my. Uh, Fun fact, did you know, the Red Baron was actually based on a real-life Model T, the, uh, like... Is in like a T bucket It's a T-Bucket based. I just, I just realized the wheel placement. It's like, it's like a lorry, or sorry, like a tractor trailer for you Americans. I hate how I have. I hate how 90% of Devlin's audience is, is American, and I have to talk like an American. Just don't talk like an American. Just talk like a super stereotyped Irishman. You want me to talk like a super stereotyped Irishman? Oh fuck me! Yes. Yeah, Never heard of the IRA. It's 
funny. Well, I tell you, I got a hey, in the Just IRA. wait till, just wait till we talk about the. Uh, fucking party accent with the fuck. Then we're really gonna be getting into uh, the Scottish. Irish. That's Scottish. <laughs> Sorry. Next, he's gonna be doing a Welsh accent and claiming that it's English. <laughs> 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 Can't oh, even do God. a fucking Welsh accent. That's the worst part. All right, so um, this is a really hard one for me. I can't figure out what other fucking team this car would be on, just because it's so fucking heavy metal that I can't see it on any other team. You know no, what I mean? No, that's why you got. That's why you gotta cheat. That's oh. why you gotta cheat. You gotta put it as the Metal Maniacs. There you go. Oh, we're talking about World Race. <laughs> well, it's, this, it's, it's the same. No, it's clearly same a Teku spicy. car. It's clearly a Teku car. Paint that bitch blue oh. and orange. Oh, yeah, and, like, the helmet is, like, a giant speaker. <laughs> <laughs> Scirocco approves. All right, so, on a serious note, I think this would work as, uh... As probably a wave ripper, only just because it fits the hot rod aesthetic, and like it's a very seventies, so or sixties, whatever. Oh, could you could you fucking imagine if like underneath the helmet it like lifts up, right? And then there's a fucking surfboard underneath. <laughs> I mean, you could probably fit a surfboard like... somewhere on this thing. I just had the worst idea. <laughs> you, put two, you, could. you put two surfboards on top of it in the shape of an iron cross. Oh no! <laughs> it's funny that you mention iron cross because it literally has an iron cross like on the wastegate. Oh fuck no! It does. Yeah, it's right there. Circle, right there. Hopefully they can see. My oh face. yes, shit! So it does. <laughs> Anyway, all right, we've been on this one for too long. Sam, what are your what are your opinions? I could pro the only other team I could probably see this on is maybe like the Road Beast, only because basically, I don't know, it just kind of fits. It's with basically what the Road Beasts have on their aesthetic. It's sort of like the tribal sort of like animal prints. So I just felt like like it could possibly fit there. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, next. Oh, good, an easy one. Ah, uh, yes. Side draft. What, te what team is it on now? Because I can't really tell. It's Street Breed. Oh, okay. Um. Uh, you, you go first. Um... I think this would look pretty kick-ass as either a Wave Ripper or a Road Beast car. Now see, I, I was kind of thinking like Dune Rats if I'm honest. Because like, it can cut through the sand, it's got that sort of like proper low to the ground front bumper, it's got the aerodynamics, it's got the sort of futuristic semi techy sort of look to it, and I can imagine this thing having flappy paddles instead of, like, you know, the good shit. Yeah. The good shit being a stick, because see them flappy paddles? Fuck it. I don't um. see the point. Just put a clutch in it. Uh, or better yet, better yet, better yet, just put a clutch and flappy paddles in. What do you think, Sam? Well, if I'm being honest, I could probably see it mostly as a Wave Rippers car, just because, as you know, it's sort of how it's like the, uh, sort of like very sleek, sleek design. You could probably, you could probably shoot the curl with it so i, I could just see it, it most of my life that. because of that <laughs> <laughs> i just, I just lost five years out of my life i want them back <laughs> it's too late it's too late <laughs> 
I was gonna use those five years. All right. <laughs> Mo moving on. It'd be good. Yeah, we're All good. Right. Oh, it's this. Oh no, this is an easy one. <laughs> All right. Who wants to go first? <laughs> I'd, I'd say straight up, it's a straight breed car. I agree. Like, it's, it's got the very sort of, like, uh, mid-2000s, like, Japanese-esque style to it. Which, which is sort funny of evolved because this Packard. is a late 90s concept car. Oh, well, then there you go. It basically looks like, um, I'd say a Nissan Silvia K S14 mixed with, like, um... Fuck, what's that one that's got asbestos brakes in it again? I don't know. Uh, it's like the... the it's like the... It's it kind of actually resembles like more like a Dodge Stealth or like a 3000 GT, if I'm being honest. Yeah. Yeah. Does this car have four doors, Sam? Uh, yes, it actually does. Oh my god, I didn't know someone was driving sedan in fucking World Race. Oh my god. <laughs> It's so bad. What's funny is that, at, in the comics, this thing actually can drive sideways. That's weird. Don't blame me. Alright, so that was quick. Next one. But yeah, actually I do agree. This act, The Charger RT, that actually would be a good street breed card. It would. Okay. Next car is the Pontiac... Regios. Oh yes, the one where it basically the one competitor who didn't make it into the final leg because of lack of NOS Car explodes. Nice. Um <laughs> I uh I hate the vinyl scheme on this car. Well, I, I like it, but I hate the eyeball. Is that eyeball. a fucking eyeball? Yeah. Yeah, I, it's an eyeball. I hate the eyeball. It is. Why? Why? Why is there an eyeball there? I don't get it. Because it needs to see when it's drifting. <laughs> I don't know. Um, How else is it going to see when it's drifting? Fucking turning your head? No, we're playing Hot Wheels. You can't turn your head in Hot Wheels. I think Here's another fun fact about this car. If you look on the comic, like on the page one, they made an error and replaced it with Golden Arrow. <laughs> I literally kid you not. That's pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna say this would look really good on either Dune Rats or Scorchers. Uh. I don't know, I think Road Beast would kind of suit it. I mean, it probably wouldn't last too long, but I can imagine Banshee being like, Ho ho, this good car. <laughs> what do you think, Sam? That was my I agree as well with Mexican the Road accent. Beast, considering that it also has like this uh, sort of feature that allows it to basically camouflage itself. Like, it can brighten or darken. Like, it can really sort of be used as like that at a stealth car in the jungle where there's like a lot of trees very densely packed so it could just blend in wherever okay good to know that's actually kind of cool next another fucking street breed car okay oh jesus the are, we LMP. Gonna, are we ever going to run out of street breed cars i don't know i think somebody's got a bias towards street breed if i'm honest <laughs> all right um you're the one that picked the fucking images. I they're they're randomly shuffled, all right. So anyway, randomly shuffled my ass. They are though. Your ass is more randomly shuffled than this fucking list. Oh Jesus Christ! All right, so I'm gonna say I don't know, and someone else go before. Me. Uh, doing rats straight up. It already looks like Lucky Seven if it took a hit of cocaine. Lucky Seven. Isn't that uh, Kadeem's car? No, no, his, his car's name is Crazy 8. Crazy 8, Lucky 7, Crazy 8, whatever the fuck. I was one letter off, I was one one number off, I've been playing too much Killer 7. Fuck. Alright, Sam, what do you think? Yeah, it basically, it basically just looks like Crazy 8 on steroids. 
You know what's funny is that in Resident Evil 4, there's a weapon actually named Killer7. Yeah, it's it had something to do with the Capcom 5 and partnership agreements and Capcom being rap bastards and selling the game came out to the PlayStation 2 and yeah. I fucking love Killer7. Anyway, off topic. Anyway, uh, uh yeah. Getting back on topic, uh, I can't really picture Is this that car on doing? anything else other than street breed. To be honest, it just has like that race car motif to it. Be of course, it being basically an open top Le Mans prototype, of course. So, unfortunately, I can only see street breed with this car. Uh, I'd have to say Road Beast, just because, fuck it. Moving on. Oh no! Finally, we actually, we actually all disagreed on something. And another street breed car. I swear to fuck, if the next one's a street breed car, Devlin, Devlin, <laughs> this knife is going places. God, this knife is going. God, places. God, God damn it! <laughs> knife Yoda, let's go places. <laughs> oh man. Toyota Corolla. It's right on the suspension. Alright, I'm, I'm just gonna say that this would be a Scorchers. I can really? see I, that as well. I was kind of thinking like, uh, road base if I'm honest. Like, it's got that sort of tuner car aesthetic that I sort of find with road base cars. Is this technically a NASCAR? Yeah, exactly. It's actually an iRock. It's not NASCAR, it's iRock. Okay. Well, there you go. There you go. Iraq. It's an Iraq. <laughs> it's a rock. A rock. It's a rock. <laughs> okay. It's a big, beautiful old rock. Dev, Dev, if the next one's a fucking street freak car. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh god. I I hopefully. Do I'm... you click it? Do you fucking click it? <laughs> I don't. I think we're already out of street freak cars. Hopefully, there's none left. You oh, thank you, God. It's a different car for once. You lucky bastard. It's ballistic! Uh, Scorchers. Ripa! Uh, that's all I'm saying is Scorchers. Yep, yeah, straight up. Me too. Okay, next. The Lambo. Um, Street Breed. Lambo JJ. Yeah, Street Breed. No, yeah. Quick, yeah, on the ground, I can see that as well. I mean, it has like the, uh, yeah, the sort of midship layout and the fact that it's based on a Lamborghini Diablo. Well, I think that kind of speaks for itself. Okay, okay, Dev, before we go any further, do you play Double Jeopardy? Do you want to play Double Jeopardy? I don't know what that is. Wait, wait, wait. If the next one is a street breed car, right? You're fucked. Okay. But if it's not, then, um,. I, I don't know. Um, uh, I'll give you a car in Forza Horizon. Alright. Oh, what? No! Okay. What? Hang on, that's road based. Hang on a second. Yes, it is. Okay, 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 okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. By the way, you never agreed to double jeopardy, so. I, I mean, I think we're out of street food cars anyway, so. Um, anyway, fuck. Alright, so, uh, motocross, um, uh, this would either be, I mean, it wouldn't work as a wave ripper car, but I think it would be cool as a wave ripper car, but I also think it would be fine as a fucking dune rat. I was gonna say dune rats, but I can just imagine this really funny scenario where, <laughs> where Vert's kinda like, WAVE RIPPERS! Uh, and uh, use your fucking jets, and then this guy was like tubby little, tubby little car. Like it won't fucking lift. It's like, uh, yeah, teamwork and all that. Uh, let's just leave him behind. Fuck it. <laughs> like, I mean, that thing's probably got like a massive fucking engine in it, right? Which is probably weighing that little car down. And then, te and then, like, Dr. Talk Tesla's probably wondering, where the fuck do I put this fucking thing? Jesus Christ. 
Uh, what do you think? Because he had to make all these cars, don't forget. Okay. Well, for me, I think mostly Dune Rats because it's just an off-roader. Because I could just see this thing just blazing through deserts, despite the fact that this thing will probably get a lot of dust and sand and on you. And the only reason I can't see it as a Wave Rippers car, because aside from what you guys said, and this thing would just not lift whatsoever. The most I could see this doing is sort of like a beach patrol vehicle. Like, it's just a car that sort of, like, patrols the beach, makes sure everybody's obeying the law, doing dumb shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, this this is the kind of beach patrol that doesn't go after topless women. Um, next. <laughs> I can imagine him pulling over topless women just to be like, Hey, baby, <laughs> do you like my car? It's like, it's a piece of shit. Hey, baby! Um... I like my guava juice imported. In your dreams. Okay, right. I think I think we all know. I think we all know what we're picking here. Street breed. Exactly. <laughs> it's like the only logical one here. It fucking looks like Kurt's car if it was actually designed by an actual rational human being. I don't know. This car's pretty bonkers, but I love it. Um... It looks. It, Basically, it just looks like an. It looks like the F40. Like it looks like the F50 to Kurt's. No, yeah, to Kurt's slingshot F40. Have you seen the difference between the F40 and the F50? Yeah, I actually just recently picked up an F50 Hot Wheels. The differences are like night and day. One's basically kind of like boxish, and the other one's kind of just more like, like a streamlined. Yeah, it's basically like that. So imagine Slingshot's the F40, and then imagine this is like the F50. Oh yeah, that I can definitely see that. And yeah, I'm going to go with you guys and say, yeah, this could also work double as a Street Breed card as well. <clears throat> uh, it's the car that... Uh... It's it's the, the car that the driver... The, the driver of this car... Everybody wants to smash, and I never understood why. And I know her name. I'm just not uh, saying it because it's funny. Oh yeah, yeah. It's it's the uh... Esmeralda Sanchez. Why does yeah, it, the why one does that... everybody want to smash? And I don't get it. Tomboy loves cars. We basically look, love look, that aesthetic. Listen, listen, listen. You do realize who watches Hot Wheels, right? Me. <laughs> virgin, exactly. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm not a virgin. It's alright. Neither am I. Alright, anyway. Um, this is a tough one, because I kind of feel like this would work on a lot of different teams. Um, it's it's road base, isn't it? Yes. I would like to see this as a Wave Ripper car. Or scorchers. I could, I could see it as dune rats if I'm honest. Okay. What do you think, Sam? Hmm. I'm gonna go with headless as pick as well. Like, dune rats is really the only other team I could see power pistons as. Okay. Although a wave ripper car wouldn't be totally out of the question. Yeah. Next car. Oh, that's not supposed to be there. Okay. Oh, yes. The man himself. The legend. The goat! I'm a goat. Um, I, I don't know what fucking team this could be on. Oh, I, I straight up know. What do you... What it, what's the opposite of fire? I was gonna water. Say... That's right, rocks. I mean, <laughs> I mean water. Forget I the rock band car. Yeah. Check out that sky. Yeah, I think this would be okay as a wave ripper. Um, I think it would also work. Like, cause like, yeah. I think it would also work as a, a dune rats. Cause it's lifted. Yeah, and plus, I mean, heck, we already got pretty much the El Camino, so 
Of course. Yeah. Why not? So, we good? Next one? E. Alright, well, yep. it looks like Taro's not gonna pass us. Bye, Taro. Uh-oh. <laughs> Fuck you, Taro. <laughs> I'm gonna pass you. You're going to try. Ah. Are you gonna talk throughout this entire race? Do it. Mayhaps. Alright, uh, it's the purple Coke. I mean, not... Uh, it's the bottle opener car. <laughs> Just kidding. Power rocket. <clears throat> uh, very expensive fucking car. Very expensive. Very, very expensive. Um, and this is the cool one before they retooled it. So it's the OG. Uh, yeah, with literally the opening uh, canopy. And the split on the wing. Um... I'm I'm gonna mm -hmm. say this would look good on uh, either Road Beast. I mean, sorry, sorry. No, oh my god, I'm an idiot. It's already on Road Beast. Sorry. Um, it would look good on uh, st Street Breed <laughs> or fucking <laughs> um, Dune Rats. See, I see. I think. I think. Right. Okay. I do think Street Breed. Right. But I say put it on Scorchers, paint it red, and then call it the Red Rock Up. Oh no. Stop. <laughs> Come on. It's funny. <laughs> oh god. Alright, Sam. You fucking laugh, Devlin. <clears throat> fucking laugh. Uh, yeah, I guess you. I guess this could work as a Scorchers car, except instead of painting it red, paint it black. I can then just. You know, yeah. And also because, come on, who wouldn't want to basically see giant flames and just literally shoot from the freaking, like, freaking jet thrusters on the back? This could pretty much work as a Batman car. There's a Scorchers member called Krakatoa. He was white in the comics. The yeah, named after volcanoes. What the fuck? Next car. <laughs> oh, speaking of <laughs> muscle tone. <clears throat> oh, there he is, Krakatoa himself, uh, uh, driving literally the whitest car in the whole of the whole of the world race. It's the only white car in the f entire thing. It's crazy. Actually, no, there are other white cars. Like DR2 doesn't count. Oh yeah, you're right. Switchback is. I white. Why do all the black guys drive white cars? No, Devlin. I don't know. You have to ask yourself, why do all the white people drive black cars? Juvo technically drives a black car. Oh yeah, you're right. Never mind. Anyway. Um, this would work, I think, on any fucking team. I think it would look kick-ass on Wave Rippers. I think it would look great as a Dune Rat. And definitely would look good as a fucking Street Breed car. And I think you're looking you have to choose one, though, Devlin. I don't you know have to choose to one. Choose. Uh, fine. Um, fucking choose one. Jesus Christ. I'm not asking you to pick a fucking winner here. <laughs> it's fucking Dune Rats. Let's just go with Dune Rats. I think it looked cool. I, I would think it would look really cool. Wrong though. choice, bitch. <laughs> Fuck off. Alright, what do you guys think? I say Street Breed first. because... You go first. Alright. I say Street Bree because I could just see this thing just drifting. Doing that. Tokyo! Oh, fast and furious! Those lyrics, I never understood what the hell they were saying. Unironically, I have that on my on my music playlist. Same. I mean, <laughs> oh, well, Karn, then it's all the more reason. What car enthusiast doesn't have that song on there? fucking playlist I'm I'm gonna say it probably look best on wave rippers because um, I just think like the whole like older car aesthetic looks good for wave rippers yeah all right yeah, dad why are you gonna let me drive the fucking Toyota Corolla when you're older son I am older I'm fucking 85 <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
It's not even an 8-6 for God's sake, it's just a shitty 9-11. <laughs> um, don't even know if Toyota did a 9-11 car. Uh, so... Sweet 16 2. Um, honestly, this is a hard one. I don't think it is. Like, just put it on Scorchers. It's it's like the designer of the the World War II fucking Nazi car came up, came down from his cocaine high and was like, oh yeah, that's right, I'm supposed to not show I'm a, I'm a white supremacist some work. Fuck. It's a fucking World War I <sighs> car, you ding dong. Look, it's got a German hat on it, okay? I don't care. The Stormhelm was made in World War One. Actually, I think maybe before. I don't know. Anyway, enough with war history. Um, it's 2022. Nobody actually gives a shit about prehistory. They're just going to call you Nazi on Twitter and be done with it. I'm just going to say this would be good as a street breed car because I don't see where a fucking lava plow or saw blades would come out of the front of this thing. And I don't see this thing having jet propulsion. So... What do you think, Sam? Uh, honestly, I can't really see this car working as any of those teams. Like, I don't know. I'm just mixed on this one, so I can't really give an opinion. This is weird because this is the first time I'm stumped. I think this would look okay as a street breed car. Just because, fuck it. And I don't see why it wouldn't be able to work as a street breed car. I don't know, just my thoughts. Uh, Headless, did you want to say anything about this or no? Um, looks like an ant. Kind of looks like a prime mantis. Ah, uh, yes. It's the Nissan Skyline R34 as a truck. <laughs> I mean, look at the front Actually, speaking... Actually, speaking of, um, there is a, um, there's a, um, a like oh fuck what's it called a Lan Evo right it's a Lancer Evo right but it's as an estate and it drives around like my town it's lower too it looks amazing huh. anybody ever seen a, a Lancer Evo estate they're gorgeous uh oh oh I've heard of the Legnum VR4 as the uh, estate car also the Galant so I can see where you're going with that. Uh, I'm gonna say Road Beast for the Mega Duty. Mega Duty, it's mega shit. Mega, mega dump. <laughs> what's the what's that uh, what's the decal on the side saying no to? Uh, the other teams. I think it says Street Breed. Oh, so no Street Breed. No, we don't want Street Breed. Uh, we're racist and towards the Street Breed team. there's four of the team. missiles. Yeah, so Dune Rats. Oh, there's three races for the Scorchers. Um, Dune Rats have the weirdest paint schemes. They like say fuck off to all the other teams. It's kind of weird. <laughs> I can just imagine. I can just Rat imagine Kadeem painting that on the side of somebody else's car. I was <clears throat> told by the blind man to graffiti, so that's what I did. Um. So I think this would look good on Road Beast. What do you guys think? I'd say straight up Dune Rats, if I'm honest. No, it is Dune Rats. What the fuck? Okay. Ah, huh. uh, okay, Scorchers then. I just think that the aesthetic of like a big, like big truck with the uh, big rims and a big turbo charger, uh, sort of like works with Scorchers. Okay. I could just imagine this thing like hissing around a volcano. What do you think, Sam? Uh, I could probably see it as road beast. I mean, seriously, who could not imagine this thing just literally hurling through a rally stage? This thing could just freaking terrify anyone on the road. Yeah, if Group B was still a thing. Rest in peace, Group B. I mean, it feels more like a Baja truck, but... Anyway, next. Oh, it's the boy. 
Uh, my dear uh, team, yes, can I keep favorite. the make two free surfboards on the back? Uh, I think Broke this... my surfboards. I think this... <laughs> I think this would look pretty sick on, um... Uh... Dune Rats. Sand surfing. Fuck it. Why not? Except you wanna have to eat skating. Try surfing. The waters are a lot softer. <laughs> we gotta get up a team, Bert. Surf the skateboards. Either one. We could get Spawns. Spawn? Is that an actual line from the no. film? No. He says sponsored. No. <laughs> I just took spawns from uh, this other YouTuber who I watch. Man, we could get spawns. Is that like a, a mental disorder? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a sexual trait? Basically, <laughs> if you go, basically if you go on YouTube and you an type in Paddock or is what sex is? <laughs> oh God. All but right. yeah, if you go on YouTube, you type in Kid Icarus, every time he has a commercial, there's literally like oh, this- Oh, Oh, yeah, I, I don't watch him anymore. Yeah, it's like, right. hello, I'm Spawns! That isn't how British people get on, by the way. There's, uh, there's also me, unfortunately. I'm how British people get on. Alright, so what teams would you guys see I... this on? Uh, I, Dune Rats, fuck I see... it. Paint that shit green. Or golden, or whatever the fuck it is. It's gold. I'm colorblind. Stop making fun of my disability. I will harass you on Twitter. <laughs> I don't even have Twitter, so Ooh, good luck. Destroy. I'll make you make a Twitter just so I can cancel you for making fun of my eye disability. Your, your battleship just got sank. What are you gonna do Try about it? Try living in day in these eyes. <laughs> Try living a day in these fucking eyes. Hey, I got Hang glasses on. on. <laughs> I got glasses on. I'm good. All yeah, right. I could just see the world through diamond eyes. All right, Sam, what do you think? <laughs> but yeah, honestly, I the only other team I could see this as is Street Breed because it just has like that futuristic sort of concept car or look to it. Which, funnily enough, the original Diora actually was a concept car. All they did was slice in half a Dodge A100 van and just put a <laughs> truck in half. Bid. <laughs> slice oh, in just half. funny enough, because that's literally the fate Let's of this see car. see how you drive in half a car. <laughs> Three years later, or two years later, just goes through the portal with half the car. Bonk, next car. Oh no. Another wave ripper. I don't like this one. Now that looks like a Dodge Sunlight. It's Dodge, isn't it? Isn't it Dodge Sunlight? No, or is it a it's a Chrysler, Pontiac? It's a Chrysler Thunderbolt. The 1993 no, it's, I'm thinking. Concept. I'm thinking about the car with the asbestos brakes. It's a Sunfire Pontiac Sunfire. That's it. The one with the asbestos brakes. Yes, it looks. Legit, like a Pontiac sun, Sunfire. Um, uh, alright, team, I, I would- Literally gives you cancer every single time you break. I think, I think this would, uh, I think this would look good as a Scorcher. So. I don't know. I, I just, I don't like this car. I, I don't, why, why was this selected for World Race? It's so boring. I'm sorry, I just don't like it. It looks kind of like a big long. It sort of reminds me of the Lexus SC400. Is that what I have on my desk right now? Let me check. Uh, it doesn't say, but I do have a Lexus on my desk, and it's blue, and it looks really nice. This would have looked better as a fucking Wave Ripper car than that piece of shit. Um, so teams, what do you guys think? Ooh. Ooh. So I just I've just been looking up like like Pontiac Sunfires and I seen the worst fucking image in the world. What team would the Thunderbolt Thunderbolt be on, boys? Come on. Uh, I'm gonna say Scorchers if I'm honest. All right, two Scorchers, Sam. What do you think? I think it looked good. I think it looked Street good. Street Breed. 
Oh yeah, Street Breed wouldn't be too bad. I think it's a bit too boring for Street Breed. I think Scorchers is just the right amount of boring for it. Ah, yes. Ooh! The Dome Zero! Wait, why do you call it the Dome Zero? More it like just looks like a Dome zero. zero. I don't know what a Dome Zero is, but... Um... It's that concept car on Gran Turismo 4, the one that has... That looks like just this big, huge Lancius. It's like basically the Japanese Lancia Stratos. Is it the Mazda? No. Oh. Because there's a Mazda that looks like this. Oh, no, yeah, I see it. Oh, Jesus. Ooh! Ooh, I like that. And it's got pop-ups as well. Um, alright, Arrow Flash, I would see this probably as a... Um... Either Scorchers or Road Beast. I just the I wedge... was gonna say street breed. It's on street breed. Is it? Yes. It's just red. Oh yeah, so it is. <laughs> I'm. Shut up. <laughs> shut up. Shut. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. All right. Wait. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. What do you guys think this car would be on? Well, I got then, nothing for case... this one. In that case, road beasts. Alright. Bye, Arrow Flash. I love you. You're like... I love that car a lot. Alright, next. Scorchers, most straight, definitely. Straight up fucking Scorchers. Yeah, Scorchers. Alright, moving on. That was quick. Scorchers. Again. Yes, straight up Scorchers. More or less. I mean, come on. Who wouldn't want to paint that thing black, red, and just call it a day? I wonder what I see a blue car and I want to paint it black, red, and gray. I wonder what would happen if Lonnie was actually on Scorchers. He probably well, she'd, she'd probably be less of an Tara idiot. Quicker. She'd probably be banging Tara more. Anyway, next. Uh, Wave Ripper. Yeah, it's like it's like when we get a Scorchers or like Wave Ripper car, we just basically swap them around. <laughs> If it's a classic. Basically, yeah. I mean, um, come on. You could pretty much see that thing at the beach. Or like any classic auto show. Um, so there's a different T-Bird, like, model that I really like. And I think it's after this one. Because this is a 57, right? Or what year is this T-Bird? Do you know, Sam? It was 1957. Okay. Um... I think it, there's a 60s, like, T-Bird model, or there's a T-Bird model I know that's after this certain generation that, like, looks like, like a completely different car, but I saw it in person, and I was like, oh my god, that is a sick-ass fucking T-Bird. Like, it's awesome. But, uh, yeah, Wave Ripper car, 100%. Oh. Okay, um. Now, it doesn't apply to this car, no, that's the only thing. Yeah, I love this car. Kodama Coupe is, is good. Um. Jesus, this is tough because it, it's it's a hot rod. Like, what else would it fucking be on other than Wave Ripper? Like, I don't know. I don't see it as a Dune Rat. Um. I don't see it as anything other than Scorcher. Yeah, I'm gonna have to agree. I don't think this is anything else other than Scorchers. Um, I mean, it's a freaking hot rod with freaking side exhaust. Yeah. What more do you need? Fucking beautiful. I don't know. I don't think you two are playing this game correctly. I think you're just fucking it up. If I'm honest. Well, what do you think? You gotta put a bit of you? gotta put a bit of effort into it and say maybe road beasts. <laughs> Where the fuck is the blade gonna come out? Actually, I never understood um, how this car worked. Hello, anyway. there's like there's like a big silver spike at the front, just like that's the, that's the colder uh, intake. Yeah, or so the, like it comes out of the air intake. No, not you sorry, have to remember, Doctor Tesla's intake. a fucking. That's you the have radiator. Doctor Tesla's Doctor Tesla's a fucking moron, right? You have to remember he's a fucking moron, right? The fucker tried taking the wheel of power, got it. Blew every single fucking fuse in up North America, returned the wheel of power, and then said, 
Ah, fuck it, I'll go back and get it myself. You have to remember, he's a fucking Only idiot. to fail miserably. It took a genius to build these every cars, every bone in his fucking body. It could be a genius. Except here's the still problem. Be I was just gonna say that. Too bad. Nobody beats Kurt Wilde. That's my voice line anyway, so. Next car. Oh, my straight car. Straight up street breed. Straight up street breed. Yeah, it's like I was saying earlier, this thing actually just fits street breed to the T. Uh, I could see this as a road beast car. I mean, yeah, I guess you could, I mean, because least... I mean... I mean, put it in dune rats and it's just gonna suck up all the sand and it's just gonna blow the engine. Isn't this car supposed to be a submarine? <laughs> Oh my god. I mean, god. I think, but then again, I think that actually could be... Actually, that's the Thunderbolt. That's the submarine car. Oh, I thought this was supposed to be the submarine car. What the fuck? Okay. I'm supposed to be the submarine car. Well, this is Sam's car, so we'll let Sam talk about how much he loves it. Oh lordy, I mean, I don't know. oh lordy. I don't know, I think I just like... I like the aesthetic of it, the fact that it's the only black hat car, that purple window tint, the big huge scoops it has, and the fact that, yeah, this thing literally could run underwater. Alright. I don't like the I'll number left. I don't like the number five on the front, it kinda kills it. Get no, I don't like the five there. Uh -huh. uh, yes, the five on the side, the five on the front. Uh, this, <coughs> this is definitely a uh, Dune Rats or Street Breed. No, I'm gonna say Wave Ripper. It's a Corvette, isn't it? It's an old Corvette. Yeah, it's a '63 split window. It's just the uh, twin, or like the little brother of the Stingray that Marky drives. Yeah. So, put it Yerp. in wave rippers. Nick, I love this car so much. I think this is like one of the best like paint jobs on all the cars in World Race. It's just so fucking cool. Next. Oh, that's another Mega Duty. Get out of here. Ah, yeah, my favorite wave ripper car. Uh, I'd see this as I, a I think, I think we're all breed. know. Yeah, we're all know what we're Street say. breed, because, breed. I mean, come on, it's a... Futuristic, futuristic European sports car concept. Yeah. Where is Finn Serpa from? Is he from the U.S. or Canada? He's Irish, actually. Oh, what the fuck? Hang on, what's his name? Finn, Finn Serpa. Serpa. Yeah, he's Irish. Oh my god. Yeah. So this he's is got a fucking. This is this, and he's, this is this he's is a redhead as well. I feel is, so insulted. This is fucking headless in world race. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Before the world race, Finn Surfer was a cliff surfer who used to hang glide off rocky shores in Ireland. Oh my god! How much more Irish can you make him? Next. Oh no. Oh god. Jesus Christ, that is a submarine the if I've ever seen one. It's the one car that no one likes, except for one person I know. Is this Dune Rats? How the hell Skin is it Dune Rats? wheels. I don't understand how this is a Dune Rats car. It's like, a Wave Ripper car, clearly. Yeah, this is a Wave Ripper car. This is either a Wave Ripper or it's no, called, a it's Scorcher. Called... This would be sick as a fucking Scorcher. Imagine this thing plowing through lava. So, <laughs> like, it would just be cool as I shit. don't know, it's I kind of called... see this actually more as like a Road Beast car because, I mean, come on, it has, it screams basically that British Spitfire plane aesthetic with literally the shark teeth on the side. I mean, come on, you could see it. Yeah. It's called Wild Thing. Hey, look up General and Grievous' looks... ship. I just realized this looks exactly like General, Gr General yeah, Grievous' Yeah, it looks spaceship. exactly like his ship. Holy shit. I don't know why that just came to me until just now. That's weird. Yeah, I just looked up General Grievous' ship, and yeah, this thing definitely does fit it. 
Where the fuck are its wheels? It's underneath the car. Hang on, and is they're it really skinny. Is it underneath the big like pylons at the side, or is it like in there's, where the main chassis is? There's one in the middle of the back of the car, and then there's two in the front underneath. Oh my god, it's that's funny so because fucking this is the only three wheel. It. It's the only three wheeler. We could just call this the motorcycle car. The tricycle. Um. All right. Uh. Next car. Oh yeah, my baby. I love this one. No one likes it. I love this one a lot. Uh, I'm gonna say road beast or street breed. I agree um, with Dev. Well, what is it? It's dune rats at the minute. Yeah. Do you know what the car yeah, is, Headless? Yeah, Fuck it. It's, uh, it's B. It's, 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 it's not a fat, it's not a fat B. It looks it's like no, a B. It just the, looks like it's, a B. It's the car everybody gets in Gran Turismo 4 and sells immediately for a bunch of money. I barely, I haven't, I've, okay, I have Gran Turismo 4 in an emulator, but that's it. What the fuck? I thought you played four. Anyway, it's a Toyota RSC. I didn't. I didn't grow up with four. I'm sorry. Damn it! I thought you knew the memes. I grew, I grew up with one. You failed me. I thought you knew the memes. <laughs> I grew up with one. Unfortunately, I have one on PlayStation One. Um, hey, I do as well. Along with two. Two and four are my favorites. Does it? Does it still? Does two still have its scratch and sniff feature? That's if you have the certain disc. Yeah. I don't have that one, sadly. Boo! Next one. That's a Mazda RX-7. Straight fucking up. <laughs> the Dorito. Uh, uh, Wave Ripper. The, that's it. That's all I have to say. I can't see this. No, I don't... No, I can't see a Mazda... I can't see an RX-7 as a Wave Ripper. I'm sorry, I just can't. What oh car, god, like, I, I got a shitty version of it. Look like it, the decals look like they're fucked. Ew. This, this, like, this what? is a bad photo. Who, um... This uh, thing just bleeds JDM through and through, so... I can't really see this as anything other than Street Breed. Is it a Street Breed car? Yes, it's Street Breed. It is. This is a really bad I don't... car. Like this, they did not tear, take care of this. Like the green's missing from the wheels, the decals are tearing. Oh my god, this poor thing. I'm sad. I, I'm, I don't know. I'm, I could I'm... definitely see this as like a rally car if I'm honest. It's too low to the ground. Have you ever tried making a rally RX-7? They've Ooh, actually should, made I a rally RX-7 that. in the past. I should do that. A rally RX-7. Wow. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna say Wave Rippers. That's it. You guys wanna say anything else? Or you good? Peepus. Alright. Dorito. Okay, I'm pretty sure we're at the last one because I remember a lot of the cars now, and I think this is gonna be the last one. This is the only big image we have. This is the biggest image we've got. I know. I don't know why. I hate image sizing. Um, hey, any of you two want to give newbie a shot first place? Shakes head. Just immediately proceeds to do the Spinalia. Uh, Spinalia. I, I, I don't think this would work on any other team. And maybe Street Breed. But that's it. What do you guys think? I'd say I, I keep would, it as. Say... There you go first. I would say just keep it as wave rippers, because, well, sorry, but I can't see this thing as anything else other than wave rippers. That makes sense. I was gonna say possibly like um, scorchers. Okay. I mean, like, yeah. I think this could also work Paint as, it a, red. as a road beast car. I mean, I don't know. But I think Street Breed works better too, because like this is clearly slammed, so it doesn't have any ground clearance whatsoever. 
Which is really funny because in the one of the in the third leg of the world race when Vert's like, hold up, wave rippers, and like they stop the fucking suspension on switchback is just like bouncing back and forth. And I'm like, how? The car's so low to the ground. How is there that much difference in like <laughs> this thing is slammed? There's no room for for fucking the suspension at all. So I don't know. Anyway. So yeah, this is the last. Is that the last one? Yeah. So he clicks next, and it goes immediately to a picture of his dick. Oh God. So, all right. I don't know how long this has been recording, um, but anyways. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. So, um, anyway, boys, thanks for helping me with this video. I'm happy that you guys came to help me with this. This was a lot of fun. Hey, no problem, Dev. Go you know what's absolutely yourself. funny is that during this whole time, I've actually been playing with my Highway 35 cars during this whole thing. <laughs> what the fuck is that atrocity you posted in the fucking chat, Headless? It, I told you, it's like... That's, that's, the, that's the Pontiac Sunfire. But oh. somebody did like a... A fucking modification to it, and it looks like shit. Yeah, it looks. It's awful. got a whole yellow interior <laughs> too. Say yeah. goodbye. Bye bye. Fuck you. <laughs> bye everybody. Thanks for watching.